In this lesson, we're going to learn how to find the length of a diagonal of a right hexagonal prism. Here we have a right hexagonal prism in which the base is a regular hexagon. with a side length of A. And the prism has a, a height of H. So I want to find the length of the diagonal. So the longest segment that can be drawn inside the prism is going to go from here here. That's my diagonal. So you may be wondering, because you know that the length of the diagonal equals the square root of length squared plus width squared plus height squared. In other words, it is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So if we look at our figure here, we can see that this side over here is also H, and this side at the bottom, which is the side of one of one of the sides of the bottom base, is also A. Now we can see that if I take my blue pen and I draw down here on H. I'm starting to make a triangle with the diagonal as a possible hypotenuse. And if I draw from the end of the blue segment all the way across, keeping in mind that now that is on the inside. So let's make that a dashed line. On the inside of the prism, now I have created a right triangle here. So now I have to find out what is this length here. And I'm going to call that length for uh, sake of argument um, M. So I know, here's what I know, that D equals the square root of M squared plus H squared. But in terms of the dimensions of this prism, in other words, in terms of a and H, because there's only two real dimensions I have, each one of the sides of this hexagonal base is A, and each one of these heights is H. So in terms of A, what is the length of a diagonal? Well, let's take a look at this hexagonal base. We know that it is a regular hexagon by definition. So if I start from the center of that base and I draw a segment inside the prism, I'm going to erase that and I'm going to make that a dashed segment. Now it's kind of stretched, but each one of these triangles triangle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 is congruent to every other triangle. And they are also equilateral triangles, recalling our lesson from regular hexagons, that if we divide a regular hexagon up into triangles, we have six equilateral triangles. So if the length of side is A, then this segment here must also be A, 
This segment must also be A. This must be A. And this must be A. So, what is the length of M? M now equals A plus A, which equals 2A. So in terms of A and H, if I plug in 2A for M, I can figure out what is the length of my diagonal. So my diagonal is the square root of 2a squared plus h squared, or when I square 2a, I get 4a squared plus h squared. Let's see how this works on a real example. Let's say I have a right hexagonal prism with base edge of five units and height of nine units. What is the length of my diagonal? Well, my diagonal is, remember, 4a squared plus h squared, which equals square root of 4 times 5 squared plus 9 squared, which equals 4 times 25, the square root of 4 times 25, plus 81, which equals the square root of 181. which is approximately equal to 13.5 units.